How you doing? This is George Sander, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, periodically we have people in the media, 99% of the time they're on the left, they come up with things that are so outrageous, so ridiculous, you have to shake your head, and yet they get traction from this sort of stuff. And a case in point today is Melissa... Um, Harris Perry, who has a show on MSNBC, the liberal nutjob network that nobody watches. And she came out with a pronouncement today that Darth Vader is racist because he wears an all-black uniform, and when he die, gets ready to die, he takes his helmet off. He's revealed as a white person with a white son. Black helmet, black cape, black boots, it's all a subtle message that black people are evil, mean, murdering killers. Well, Rush Limbaugh talked about this, and so did somebody on the site Hot Air. And it's absolutely outrageous. If you're a Star Wars fan like I am, I didn't like Jar Jar Binks, I'll admit it. Um... You don't think for a minute that <laughs> Anakin Skywalker, or Vader as he became later, is a racist. Black is the color of, traditionally, of evil intent. It's ominous. It has nothing to do with racism. And the actor that voiced the character was James Earl Jones, one of the best actors in the world, with one of the greatest voices in the world, who happened to play the first black president in a movie called The Man from an Irving Wallace novel. And I doubt if Earl, James Earl Jones would voice his voice to a character that was a racist character. And I don't think George R Lucas, who is a liberal, would have a character that was deliberately a racist, so they did come up with the horrible Jar Jar Binks. But perceiving racism where no, none exists is a constant thing with these kind of people. They think there's racism in everything. Were you to use the word niggardly, which means miserly, among other things, they think it's the word, the N-word because they don't have enough common sense or they haven't done their research to realize it's a commonly used word, at least it was at one time. But that would be racist. Darth Vader is not racist. It's a movie character set in a fictional universe that doesn't exist. When I saw this movie in 1977, I went to the theater. I had three hours of sleep. It came out, I saw it three days after it opened, and oddly enough, when I walked up to the ticket office, just a few minutes before, there were lines of people waiting for tickets, and suddenly, like someone part of the Red Sea, they were all gone, I walked up, got my ticket, went in. I was nodding off when the movie started. When the spaceship comes over, and the movie credit letters come a long time ago in a galaxy far, far, far away, I immediately woke up and had an adrenaline rush, rush like you wouldn't believe. I thought it was one of the greatest things I'd ever seen, and I sat riveted watching that movie from beginning to end. And like the joke in um, Hardware Wars, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll kiss, three bucks can buy. Cost me three bucks to get in there, and I and my late friend David McDan were gushing over the movie as were dozens of people. It was all over the place. We didn't have the internet back then. I don't think. But the word of mouth in this movie was incredible. People are lined up for 8, 10, 12 blocks to get tickets. And I've never, people line up, black people dress up as Vader and Star Troopers. They're stormtroopers. They're stormtroopers who are black in the fan base uh, divisions or whatever you want to call them, units. Nobody thinks Vader's a racist. And she says he was killing white people while the actors happened to be Caucasian. Absolutely stupid.
But this is the kind of idiots they give a television program to. I wonder what it would have done if the actor had portrayed him had been black and the voice had been white. Would that have been a racist portrayal? I guess so. Well, look at my shirt. I don't know his real name. I never did. I could look it up on the web. The cancer man, the cigarette smoking man from the X Files. He's wearing a black suit. Does that mean he's a racist? No. But idiots like that come to the conclusion because they're stupid. And by the way, this woman's veracity needs to be questioned. She was thrown off the faculty of the university because they questioned her credentials and what she was going to be doing in the future. She owes $70,000 to the IRS. They paid twenty and have made payment arrangements. She, made, she posted a card showing Mitt Romney as a black family and then tearfully uh, apologized for it on the air. So this woman has baggage. She doesn't have any gravitas, folks, an overused word. But I wouldn't pay attention to this moron. The force is not with her. And she's moved to the dark side. And that, that has nothing to do with racism. The dark side of the being an idiot. Racism. Next thing you know, they'll just start talking about how uh, the Ewoks and the um, Jawas are, are racist because they were portrayed by little people. Oh, and let's not forget, inside the um, R2-D2 was a little person. So that's all racist, too, or it's bigoted. They gave people employment. And some of them have made a career about um, how, what it was like to be R2-D2. I thought R2-D2 was one of the coolest things. I can't stand C-3PO, but I love R2-D2. Never thought, gee, there's a little guy in there. I got to discriminate against him because he's a, he's a little guy. He's a little people. He's a little person. Yeah. Billy Barty made a career of being a little person for years. He was on dozens of television shows. No one said, gee, we've got to discriminate against him because he's a little person. So pay attention to these people and then don't pay attention. Ignore them, except unfortunately it gets in the news media and it's all over the place. Draw your own conclusions, not when some moron on a liberal network tells you, oh, Darth Vader's a racist because he's all black. If Darth Vader had been all in pink, would he be gay? Or would he be fighting cancer? The stupidest, one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. All right, have a great day. I'll be back later on with another video. May the force be with you. Bye-bye.